Hey everybody. So this video I'm going to talk about something you might run into when you're building a system, especially if you have an older power supply that has a 4-pin CPU power connector, which was originally referred to as a Pentium 4 power connector back in the day. Now, of course, modern systems utilize an 8-pin power supply connection on the motherboard, as you can see here. But we have a power supply that has a 4-pin connection. And some of you might question, okay, is it safe to use a 4-pin power supply on an 8-pin motherboard? So, this system here has an Intel Core i7, 2600 CPU, and it has a TDP rating of 95 watts. So, and you can see again, we are running a 4-pin power supply on an 8-pin connection. So, What's important to note is when you go half on the connection, you're basically doubling the uh, current through the remaining wires. Now, for example, over here to keep your plexi, if you look here, its motherboard has a four pin power supply connection on the motherboard. You can see where it says ATX12. So the 4-pin connection is known as an ATX 12-volt connection and the 8-pin not sure if this one has it noted or not this one has it as EATX 12 which is technically known as EPS 12-volt so EPS 12-volt versus ATX 12-volt so the EPS 12-volt connection is 8 pins the ATX 12-volt connection is 4 pins so the Plexi currently has an AMD Phenom 2 6-core CPU 1045T which has a 95 watt TDP rating now that's not exactly the hardcore power rating of the CPU they can draw more power than that but for example back in the mid 2000s the ATX oil connection was still the common thing and of course this is back in the days of the Pentium D processor and those who were working on computers back in the middle 2000s may remember the Pentium D Independent Pentium 4 Prescott as power hungry hot running CPUs and typically what could happen in worst case scenarios is you would actually overheat this connector so that's why they have the um, 8 pin connection now instead of the 4 pin my general rule of thumb with these is if your CPU has a TDP rating of 95 watts or, re or less you can get by with a 4-pin connection down there. Now if your processor is, let's say, over 95 watts, let's say it's 105 watts, let's say it's 125 watts, or 140 watts, or 200 watts, you'll definitely want to have that 8-pin connection there. Because any of those more power-hungry CPUs will definitely overheat a 4-pin connection. So. Just FYI, if you are working on a system and your power supply only has a 4-pin connection, as long as the CPU is not super power hungry, let's say it's a 95 watt TDP or a 65 watt TDP or even less than that, sure, you should be fine. Um, but if it's a 125 watt TDP um, processor or more than that, you definitely want to have a power supply with the 8-pin connection because you won't run, you won't run the risk nearly as bad of overheating the connection as well as um, also you have less voltage drop as you're passing less current over the conductors so okay so before I wrap up this video I want to talk about one more thing so if you look on the internet you'll find these little adapters that basically adapt a um, four pin CPU power connection, more or less the ATX12V connector into an EPS12 connector. And you're probably wondering, should you use one of these? Now, my opinion is kind of mixed. So let's say if you're running a CPU that has low power draw, such as a 65 watt TP or maybe the 95 watt TP as shown in this video, I would just say plug in the 4 pin connection straight to the motherboard. And the reason why is because because when you add connections in between your motherboard and your power supply, you are adding 
areas that can have resistance and cause heat and voltage drop. And when you cause voltage drop, your motherboard is going to be more power hungry for, of course, power for the CPU. Therefore, it's going to increase the current load and therefore it's going to increase power more on this connector here. Now, the plus side is you're actually taking the higher amount of resistance off of the connectors on the motherboard. So let's say if you do have a 125 watt CPU and you want to use a four pin CPU power connector for that, I, I strongly recommend that you don't do that. Just get a power supply that has eight pins straight from the power supply. Because when you use one of these, you're going to still overheat or overload the conductors on that four pin connector. Now the first thing that will generally overheat will be the connector itself. It'll get hot because this point right here is a hot spot. And when you're drawing excess of current to feed, let's say, that 125 watt TDP or 140 watt TDP CPU, things will get, get very hot. Now, of course, here things won't be so bad, but you're still going to have voltage drop and you're going to have a lot of heat in this connector right here. So if you're running a system with a power hungry CPU, and the power supply you have only offers a four pin connector. I would caution against running this as an alternative to just replacing the power supply unit with one that has actual eight pins. Now, if you're like me and you work on power supplies, you like to open up power supplies and modify them and things like that, you could in theory open up the unit and if there are available um, 12 volt connections on the PCB inside the power supply, for the same 12 volt rail, if it's a multi 12 volt rail unit that, let's say for the same 12 volt rail that powers the processor, you could, for example, salvage one of these, bring in extra wires, and actually run it all the way back to the power supply. But again, as mentioned, if you have a system that you're installing a high power CPU in, and your power supply is only four pin, you should either replace that power supply with one that has an actual EPS 12 8-pin connector or as a stopgap measure, temporary measure, if you have, let's say, a lower power CPU, you could throw in that system for the time being. Do that and then save up the money and get you the proper power supply. Now again, this system here in the video should have no problem with this 4-pin connector power supply on this 8-pin motherboard because the CPU is not extremely power hungry. So hopefully this makes better sense. Anyways, hopefully that helps. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.